I mean, yeah, the way the movie ended, it just left him in in one hell of a predicament. Because what do you fuck? What do you do now? <laughs> it was like the game over for Mario. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's just oh, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, no, like you're on your last life. You're out of quarters. You're at the arcade. What do you do? Uh, you hit the reset button, which is exactly what they did. <sighs> they reset to pre episode four. Like, and, and, which means you've just undid like that entire like the first the last four movies you just undid them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you we just completely get, undid them. And we it's can like, go into depth on that too because that bugs me. It's like like what what is wrong with you guys? Like <sighs> seriously, like I I don't understand. I'm not even as big a Star Wars fan as you guys are, yeah. and even I'm like this is this is not okay. This is not cool. You know, like what what what, what you doing, buddy? Yeah. I, I so hello everybody. In case you haven't figured out, we're going to be talking about Star Wars today. Yep. We're I I, I don't uh, know. I, we have so much I to had say. To drink There's a, a little bit before this podcast started. <laughs> I, it, I, I, I you want some liquor, Luke? I got no, liquor. No, no, no. Man. I'm going to go good. grab something else. I'll be right back. Some, All right. Got some Jack for you, man. But I I got some Maker's Mark in my bedroom, man. Like two thirds a bottle. We can get. We we we're, we're good, man. I got couches. You guys can pass out. Fuck I it. I can't do nothing for you, buddy. You got to squeeze through back there. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, we don't have Luke. much room in this room. I, I... Start coming to the gym with me. <laughs> fucking... But holy shit, man. Like, Yeah, <sighs> I mean, I I went in with com- a completely open mind. Like, uh, I keep hearing expectations, expectations. It just wasn't what you expected and blah, blah, blah. No, I went in. Just show me, show me what happens next. Right. I don't have any expectations, you know. But to those people who are saying it's not what you expected, you shouldn't have went in with expectations. What the fuck do you mean? I shouldn't have went in with expectations. I'm, I mean, I don't know. Man. They set some shit up in the last movie. I expected them to expand upon that. I expected them to 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 do more with Snoke. I expected them to do more with Ren. I, I. I Granted, he does get some fucking character development in this, which I I liked, but it's like, no, you you All gave of- me this in this movie. You said this is the big bad. He is the big bad. He is the reason why this is all thing. He destroyed then, this planet. Uh, you kept him mysterious. Then as the I big keep thing, hearing, which is awesome. okay, well, back when the original Star Wars came out, there wasn't the internet. You didn't know anything about the Emperor. Well, uh, you, so you don't need to, you know insinuating that you don't need to know necessarily need to know anything about Snoke. He's just right. the bad guy. Right. I'm sorry. That movie came out 40 fucking years ago. You need to tell a story yeah. today. Yeah. You need to you you don't just okay, this guy is this this bad guy. Right. This is the big bad guy. Then right. you have people saying he's more powerful than Darth Vader, more powerful than the Emperor. Yeah, I still Who call the fuck on is that. this guy? Is he just some random old guy from the the outer rim? Right. He's just some random guy? No. No. I mean, you're going to set him up that way. Okay, that's great. Maybe give us Who just, is this just a little more of a backstory on this. We still might us. find out. I don't know. We'll see. But come on, I mean, man. with him dead now, I don't fucking care to know stopped. about him. Then you get people... <laughs> I, just... Like, I just don't fucking care. He got killed by Kylo Ren through, like, the cheapest fucking way possible. And it's like, you couldn't see that coming? After this movie, the Star Wars sympathizers are coming out. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm, they're just flat out Star Wars sympathizers right, right. now. It's right. the same thing that happened with Phantom Menace and shit like that. Like, like, uh, like people are like, oh, he's not dead. No, I'm sorry. They killed him off. They didn't pay any fucking attention to him at all. They didn't tell you anything about his backstory. Who he was, <laughs> nothing. And that's it. Well, that's it. They, they, I don't see they how give you literally nothing. I've seen YouTube videos where people are like evaluating how he looked in the first movie and how he looked in this one. He yeah. looked different. So, oh, he looked younger. He wasn't actually there. No, I'm sorry. He was there and they fucking killed him and you got nothing. Yeah. No, come on. I mean, you, we watched him get cut in half by a fucking lightsaber. By the way, you were given this, nothing. this, we're going to be full of spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie yet. I don't know what to tell you. You're fucked at this point. But it, it's just, I don't I don't understand what what was Ryan Johnson doing. Uh, you know, I think he came into this, and they, it's been said now that they went. Here's your movie. They, they let him go and yeah. do what he wants, 
and they didn't have the oversight, which is something we've talked about with uh, Lucasfilm and Disney recently, where with their other movies, they're, oh, man, they're getting in these directors' faces, and they're not letting them do what they want, blah, blah, blah. Well, this might be why. Yeah. I don't know if – maybe they really trusted him a lot, but he went out and decided, I'm going to make the most different Star Wars movie ever. Right. And that's what he did. But at the same time, he has the core Star Wars story, uh, and it unchanged whatsoever. So, like, the one thing he could have done and changed and made it better, he didn't. Yeah, no, he, I mean... There's, it, it's still the Empire. There's a big bad running the Empire. There's a ragtag group of rebels who are fighting the big bad Empire. Yeah. And he, with the... Changes they made at the end of episode seven, you would think that they could he could have done something different, done something interesting, and he almost did. And then in the end, he 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 didn't. He just started it over again. I mean, for me, still to to this moment, you know, it's been over. It's been about a week since we've seen it almost, and to this moment, the stupidest change for me is still, you know, he didn't kill Layoff. Like, you're killing the old heroes off. Okay, fine. I get yeah. that. Their time is up. You know, Han, Harrison Ford didn't want to do it anymore. He wants to retire. Okay, cool. Kill Han Solo off. You gave Han Solo a great death, I thought, in, in The Force Awakens. But now you're like, you, you, Carrie Fisher is gone, dude. So why would you keep Leia alive? This was like a year ago. How right. do you not do these reshoots? And you, how do you not? It's so irresponsible. How do you not go, okay, we were dealt a really shitty hand here. We, okay, this this is the plan we had. Apparently, the, they did not change their plans, her story arc, at all. Mm-hmm. How do you How do you not? Well, they left it for nine, which I think is a mistake. They well, no, have left no. It for they had, this was a year ago. They've. How yeah. do you not reshoot that? Okay, yeah, whatever we were going to do with Leia and Luke Skywalker, which we'll fucking get to later, <laughs> how do you not... Switch things up. This woman yeah. is gone. Carrie Fisher is gone. What, are you going to kill her in the opening crawl? You're just going to say, oh, princess, years have passed. Princess Leia was assassinated, blah, 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 something. I, I was no. just going to say, I guarantee That's you, the, opening crawl is going to say three years and then you're gonna, have passed. Then Leia you're, died. You're, you're smearing shit all over yourself there, too, yeah. because then you're going to get people that are going to be so on. That's the send-off you give Princess Leia? Yeah. She, a, she just died in the do? opening crawl. It's they'll like, give her. They'll, what they'll do is they'll start the movie at a funeral. Yeah, for Leia. What yeah. was something that Han didn't get? Right. And they'll probably mention Han at the funeral, so J.J. Abrams will fix that mistake. <laughs> but it's just like it, he shouldn't have to, you know. Like, like you shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> why would you ignore? All of Star Wars canon, basically, <laughs> and go. Oh yeah, no, none of that. None of that even matters. None of that. None of that matters. I don't. You know, whatever. It's like I get that you wanted to make your own movie. I get that you wanted to go into a different direction, and I completely applaud you for that. I I want something different. I don't want the same do shit well. rehashed. Yeah, right. I was sick of like, okay, we got this. Like, we got the rehashed things. A bit. We got the rehashed. <clears throat> we got the rehashed, and that was fine. But <clears throat> now it's like. And I keep hearing, like, oh, they're going in a brave new direction. No, they're not. I'm sorry, what? A brave new direction? What's this direction? Shitty, like... Are they going di- down the shitter? <laughs> That's their new direction? Let's just, let's just nothing, plunge nothing, deep into crap. The, where you end in this movie is not very different from where you begin in the grand scheme of things. Right, it, it's, it's, it's fluff. It's it's fluff and it's not even this good. This brave fluff. new direction. I mean, where, half this movie, I don't know, like four or five plot lines, were just fluff. Yeah, and then they literally amounted to nothing and had no purpose. And because you had one character be stupid, who's supposed to be a leader and and hold withhold shit. Yeah, it, it would have none of it would have mattered. It, yeah, yeah, the admiral. Like, the admiral that sat there and didn't tell everybody what the fuck was going on. It's like, we're in what like kind of no shit leader are you? We're, we're yeah. just full on ranting about this yeah. movie. There's, we're not starting from beginning and whatever. We're, we're just going to rant here. All right, all right. How about this? How about this? <clears throat> Hi, Let's I'm go Ron, to some specific by the way. Point. Oh, yeah. I'm Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, you I'm Joe. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm No. <laughs> Okay, we're high too, so that doesn't help. But no. I, I, I got a bottle of Jack Daniels in front of me, and we're high. You guys kind of like I was immersed in the ranting. <laughs> you completely, we, we you completely, completely. He had through. this look on his head of like a serene anger and disappointment, <laughs> and then 
total confusion. <laughs> it was a beautiful <laughs> moment. Right, like how anyway, much of yes. this movie? Like forty five minutes to an hour of this movie was a Finn and Rose plot line storyline yeah. on for Canto Rose Bar. When they first that whole fucking all of that. Yeah, <laughs> you can cut all of that if you just change one little part of this movie. The uh, Princess Leia's uh, next in command. I f- I flaking on her name. I, I don't know. She's an admiral. admiral. That's all I can remember. Admiral Holdo. Hold, hold, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Well, if she would have just communicated her plans to them, you would have lost most of that story arc, right? And there. honestly, and that's everyone's least favorite part of this movie. Yeah, like it's that just could like, just go. Because the way that ended, there's was so dumb. many problems in this movie. Like, and it's 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 unfortunate. <clears throat> where do like. Could go no. on and on and on. It's just, it's not unfortunate. It's dumb. Yeah. It's dumb and it's, so, it feels like some of the most unnecessary storytelling I've I've ever encountered. You know, it, yeah. it's like reading a Stephen King book, like, like Hold on. Um, you were complaining about a, a while back, Ron, where like they're describing the number of the blades of grass in a yard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like yeah, it feels Stephen like King. that level of fluff, like it's just <laughs> completely unnecessary. Yeah, it's like any, like a Stephen King novel where it's you know word vomit. Like I need every third word in a paragraph to know what's going on. He yeah. embellishes that much, and it's just it, to add on. Like it, yeah, it felt out of place. Honestly, like I I I like that you were trying to make us care about these characters, but ultimately I don't. I I don't give a shit at all. I mean, yeah, Finn was cool when Finn was established in the pri- previous movie. I didn't, yeah. You know, I didn't like the Rose character. I like. I'd like I like. I wanted did, to like the character. She was and aggravating then, to me. Like she yeah, was just annoying. A, a pain in the ass thing in the way. Yeah, getting in Finn's way, and that was the way they introduced this character, which made me immediately not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from the from the very beginning, they gave her at least they gave her a, that a badly like done that sympathetic story with her sister. Though. Right, her sister died. Okay, that's 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 really terrible. Oh, by like, the way, I just gotta say one of the most abysmal space battles in Star Wars. Yeah, this movie almost has none. There's there's the beginning. Yeah, and it starts out and I, it's like it's kind of cool, and then they pull some of the dumbest shit. I mean. I, I I wholeheartedly agree with you on the bombs dropping. Yeah, but I will still argue the science behind. That, oh, no, I'm that not arguing possible. the fucking science. I don't give a shit about the science anymore. I'm talking about the scene as a whole. Yeah. The ships. I mean, and everything like, about them, like the sacrifice. The way, they, they really, dude. I, I realized that everything one of those, about it. Like, like I liked the whole hot shot pilot thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, it's been done so many times. There, it's like, one of those tropes I'm sick of seeing. It's tropes, like yeah, the, to the, a point. The, yeah. Okay, the the gotcha trope. The fact this that this movie went, is full like, of, oh, we're gonna do... of gotcha tropes, like, yeah. oh, you think Luke's gonna do this with the lightsaber? Nope, throws it over his shoulder. Gotcha. Uh, the humor Trope in fucking, general. Uh, was oh, so... you, you think? Wait, there was you, humor when she yeah. in the, the attempt... beginning when she uh, falls down the stairwell and she's kicking the stairs to try and knock the uh, remote into her hands to detonate the bombs. Yeah. Uh, you think Which she is misses supposed it? To be dramatic as fuck. You think she misses it? Yeah. Nope, she grabs it. Gotcha. It, like the time she oh, spent kicking it, Snoke she could have she, she 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 could have just climbed the fucking ladder in that time. It was really artificial um, suspense. <clears throat> yeah, and it kind of gets you in the moment, but the way they do it, it's like I expected them to do something where she uses the force, where they would do something unexpected, but you know, Star Wars unexpected. I, yeah. Instead of like she hits there, she grabs her amulet. Soap opera unexpected. If that amulet showed that she was one of those worshippers of uh, of the way or whatever the whatever the religion is right that could have been interesting like she relied on the force the force helped her instead it was kind of like she kicked the thing and got lucky channel your inner donnie yen yeah, yeah. like they could have had a uh, that would have been so much better there's so many missed opportunities right it feels like in this movie and then it ends up just uh, it, i was left i mean i walked out of the theater disappointed I walked out confused. Very, yeah, very, yeah, like no, confused. confused. Was this Star Wars? Very disappointed. It, I was, it was. Down. It was one of those things that like it took a while to set in. Yeah. Because when we were in the movie, we were in the moment. We were watching it. It's like, oh, this is so cool. There's so much cool shit well, happening. Star Wars too. It's hard to. Yeah, it's yeah. Hard, that's why it was hard for me to process. Because and then a huge, huge Star Wars. And then thing. and then we get out and we're all leaving. We all go do whatever the fuck we did that day. And it was like that night. I started thinking that wasn't good at all. It it has parts it, it, that made me uh, like just just so ang- like why why make that decision? Yeah, how does that work out in the greater story? 
and uh, that was a pain. It was, I don't know, and but it, it, I will give it the credit. There are scenes in this movie that are absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. That are oh, things yeah. I want to see in Star Wars, yeah. things that I wanted to see from different characters. Yeah. Um, that were amazing, that made it so it was even harder because I want to like this movie for those scenes. Oh, yeah. Like, like I mean, like we were talking about before we came in here, the Admiral Holdo scene where mm-hmm. she fucking crashes into the ship at light speed. Like, for me, and I know you agree, yeah. we're, that's right up there with the Darth Vader scene from Rogue One. It was yeah. like, that was just amazing. That was, un, that was so fucking cool. She crashes into it and just fucks it yeah. up. And it was like, that, that was just, I mean, it was only like 15 seconds of movie, but that was probably the best part of the whole movie. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Like you can, you, if you can find that scene on YouTube, watch it, and you just saw the best if part of the movie. Especially if you're any type of sci-fi geek, or you're into like like that kind of futuristic sci-fi space battles, that type of stuff. Yeah, it's right out of different books and other other media. Yeah, but I've never seen it done so well. It was something that you could I imagine seeing out of Star Trek or out of uh, Battlestar I mean, Galactica. This whole I can movie felt like Battlestar Galactica. As a Star Trek fan, I can definitely tell you there was at least one instance where they crashed a ship into another ship. I don't remember if it was necessarily yeah. at light speed, but they've definitely they done that. They stole a, like a, more than a few things from Battle, Battlestar Galactica. The whole, the whole desperation in losing at every moment really feels Battlestar Galactica-like. The amount of just... It, it just boggles my mind because in the end of the last movie, we had just wiped out both the rebels and the uh, uh, pseudo empire, the first order. Yeah, they they made it a very clear point that that Starkiller base that was their main base. That was the majority of their military. Yeah, you just wiped it out, but. They come back and they have this massive empire like yeah, they, armada, multiple dreadnoughts, yeah, multiple yeah, like just just all sorts like a bi- a, a ship that is as big as it is. Like, it's like a fucking mini Death Star. Yeah, it's, it's bigger it, than any. any it's twice super the size of destroyer. It's, it's, it's twice at least twice the size of the dreadnoughts that they destroyed Which at the beginning. Are of the... easily bigger than super. It, are, I'm, I'd be surprised. Like of course, all that'll come out later in books and stuff. Right. But those ships, they made them seem way bigger than super stars. Destroyers yeah. for all the fucking huge Star Wars nerds. Mm-hmm. Uh, bigger than Vader's ship, uh, which I wish I could remember the name of right now. But it just, it, it really seemed that they stressed how massive a destructive force this ship is. Yeah, And then, in all honesty, that kind of made it feel like a Death Star. But the way it ended up being destroyed felt, it was awesome. Uh, With you, Holdo doing her suicide. Yeah, the, the, phew, right through the fucking side of it. That That's still... Oh, right, yeah. I can remember wiped out half the fleet. I can I can still remember that entire scene like perfectly because mm. it was just like you said it's just so good. Yeah, I just fucking shooting straight forward. Sound the cuts blue, out. And the, it's just the <laughs> everything flash. slows down a little bit. It's it was like it, I I guarantee they modeled that after uh, like nuclear detonation. That like yeah. you've seen it in different movies where yeah. a nuke goes off and it's silent. And then you just hear the rush, and then the boom, and then the air go. That's the way they did it in the movie. Perfect. Oh yeah, the movie was definitely gorgeous to look at. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was very pretty. It, it, it... except for the bad parts of the movie. Those yeah. the, when they're riding the stupid horse cat dog things that will give me nightmares forever. Horse cat dog <laughs> last, fox hybrids. The last guardians. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. There you go. Fucking terror beasts. They're riding. I didn't play the game, so I don't know what he's called or what he <laughs> is. Man, uh, bird dog, Griffin. Man, bird dog. Man, bear, pig dog. <laughs> man, bear, man, bear, pig. They these stupid horse. They're just, okay. Take a cat, but make it a horse. That's what these are. A fox. <laughs> The yeah, a fox, they a fox, fox way more adorable, man. They were horrifying they were too, and kind of cute. They were, they were so but they, they were yeah, horrifyingly they were. cute. Yeah, if you, it's <laughs> like, that kind of like natural fear of horses because that animal could kick you and you're dead. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. if something can kick you and kill you, it's mm. fucking scary. Plus, they're fucking massive. Oh yeah, but like, it's a yeah. fox, so it's like it's really cute. Dude, but it looked like the last shit. guardian, the, the whatever from the yeah. last guardian, one hundred percent. It looked, it looked like it belongs in a JRPG. That's what they looked yeah. like. Yeah, and they they looked like. Uh, I mean, I I'm pretty sure they've had beasts similar to that in Final Fantasy. So it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah like, like different like, fictions. And don't get me wrong, I love the creatures in Star Wars. Don't yeah. take it as that. I don't. I like the fact that they have these creatures. They just the when there's the chase scene where they're riding them, it looks so bad. Best character in the movie was that midget at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> 
the that humor worked for me. Yeah, no, that humor was good. I remember laughing at There's that. There's a but, lot of moments in this like, movie that are just when you mention humor, I'm like, what humor? Yeah, you know, like aside from oh, like so the few scenes the with that little Bad. that little gambler, it's like there there aren't many funny parts. Of it the movie. feels like they tried to be Guardians of the Galaxy or Guardians Two. Yeah, and took it a step further where Guardians Two was a bit too much, and there's. There's too many times that they have a serious thing and then they undercut it with a joke. Yeah. Which it, it kind of still works in Guardians. In this, it was like there were uh, too many jokes in this movie. Yeah. Which, you know, it's so strange to say and that. And it wanted to be so serious. But like, like, there's it, a few I really loved, and there's a, a lot I really was like, there's, 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 they just why didn't is work. this in the, in the movie? Yeah, like, and it's so strange to say that when you look, compare it to something like Thor Ragnarok, which is like 45% just stupid clips that are that work for some reason. But you, Because the movie feels like it's a, a light movie. I mean, right. even though it's the disruption of the planet. Yeah. Because they're, they, they, it feels lighter. This Star, this Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi was supposed to be a... They're literally on the run for their lives. They're going to be wiped out. It's very, very... Like, the the Germans are at your door. To like, the Nazis... Yeah. Sorry, Germans. The Nazis are at your door. They're coming <laughs> to wipe you the fuck out. And they're, like, quipping. It's like, um... Really, guys? I mean, that that... Why? Why are you doing this? Like... Right outside the door here, we've got, like, an entire legion of soldiers ready to burn us down, and there's 12 of us in this house, yeah. and that's all we fucking got. And like, it, doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it should have been there. I mean, people... It kept ruining the, 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 the suspense that the movie was building. Yeah, no, the, the, it, it was a stopgap that should not have been that there. Joke. At the very beginning, when oh, when he tosses throws it, that like they there. toss away, it's, it's just gonna bother me Star forever. Wars. Like, oh my god, like that more than any other. That Hashtag probably not my Luke. More than any <laughs> other, that probably not my Luke. That's yeah, I'm like sure. that. That completely feels so out of place. Like Luke Skywalker throwing away a lightsaber. Like really, he's not going to do that. He's just not. Like, yeah, that is on. one. That is one expectation. I'm sorry. But I grew up with this character, and it, true, idolizing him, loving that character from Star Wars, and even like there's the different ways they portray him in all the other books and stuff, canon or non-canon or whatever. And then they give me this movie and his story, and fine, I, I, yeah, I don't like it, but uh, it's not, it, it's it doesn't, it's not good either. No. I mean, it's like it's a it's the typical trope of I fucked up this one time. I'm never going to help again. Nope. Doesn't matter how hard, how hard up everyone is. And then at the very end, oh, I guess I'll help. Yeah. Sacrifice. What? Why? 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 You've been useless this whole fucking movie. And now you're going to be useful at the end and get some form of redemption. No, fuck. you. Oh, and but of course you have to die afterwards because then it wouldn't matter. Apparently. Yeah, no, like that. Uh, Luke dying had almost no emotional impact on me. It did on me, I, but I didn't. Well, I could forgive it. I love Star Wars so much, and I remember the. There first, are a couple times where I was fucking sh- like. I remember. I had that. I remember I the just, first moments, the the first few scenes of the original Star Wars, and that mm-hmm. they're they're so. They're just embedded in my brain, so I, I just have that love for it. So I appreciated. I appreciated the scene. The two suns. The, the two suns were... Uh, setting, yeah. Luke Skywalker. Like, the rising at the beginning of... God yeah. fucking damn it. I appreciated that. I appreciated the... How, you the know, nod. It resonated with me because yeah. regardless of how bad or, or wrong it, it felt, it, it was. Yeah. Those uh, moments, it, still it was Luke something. Skywalker. It's just unfortunately the rest of the other the rest of the movie it, it was just some old guy, <laughs> cranky old guy, cranky old, cranky quippy. I mean, cranky old, old hermit. It's yeah. old Luke Skywalker, so I don't really know. We don't really know. Yeah, not, I mean, it's I, not I get the that. Same Luke, but it's, it's the problem with these movies coming out so long, so long after. If we had gotten Star Wars back when everyone wanted uh, seven, eight, nine, right. like twenty years ago. Uh, we would have seen. Uh, we would have seen him grow up. We right. would have seen. I him mean, my fight biggest, the empire. The, my, my biggest problem with how they, what they, how they handled Luke in the movie, was like you know this may be a vastly different Luke, but it's still Luke Scott. He's not like it's still Luke Skywalker in that like the principles that this guy lives by. Like he would not have tried to kill his nephew. 
Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't. I, I saw darkness in him. No, you, w- you wouldn't kill him. You would try to, you would try to help him. I yeah. wish they would have. He's the pushed only person that. that saw good in, in his father, right? See, you I, know, the like, whole galaxy is like, no, this guy he, is evil. He, he he sat there and he was so he was so into saving Darth Vader that at the end of the movie, at the end of the of the original trilogy, he did. He fucking totally saved, or he helped. He helped. He proved there was good in him. Yeah, he helped him get redemption. And at the end of the movie, you see that with him coming back as a Force Ghost and watching his son celebrate their yeah. victory. It's like you can't. This is the guy that saved Darth Vader from the dark side, mm-hmm. and you see him look upon Ben, and you see it. Oh, felt some bad. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of darkness in him. I better kill him. No! N- no! What is... Why? I don't care what here's he what, saw. Luke here's Skywalker what wish, wouldn't have done that. Here's what I real. wish they would have done. If they had po- if they had pointed out and they had done something to make it clear that the well, part of the reason he got that is one, he was being tempted by the dark side. And or if they had said that Snoke was pushing this, was I, trying to push this mental fuckery on... Luke that would cause him for that one second to break because the ultimate goal isn't for him to kill Kylo Ren it's for him to break so that Kylo Ren goes to the dark side which it, it, yeah. it, for Star Wars it would make sense if the dark side was doing that because both the force and the dark side or both sides of the force feel intelligent and feel alive it's one of the best things about Star Wars is the force it's not just a power it's a living thinking thing and it, it, you know, it wills. And one of the things... It would have been this... so good. It would have explained that and made it not feel like he had a moment of, well, maybe. It would have made that feel like, oh, I had I almost fell to the dark side myself. Like, fuck. Yeah, yeah I... <sighs> and instead, no. It just... It, 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 it damaged Luke's image in a way. Because yeah. it, it's completely contrary. It's also kind of what the movie was. In that way, I see it as it's is uh, honestly not bad writing, right? But for Star Wars, bad writing is that I a movie where a character it, that's not something that your heroes, because the whole story is about your heroes aren't what you think they are. Right. That's what the entire movie ends up being. Yeah. The ultimate story. That's why Luke Skywalker, when he does show that mirror image. Did you notice he's younger? He doesn't have as much gray hair. He's, like, perfect. He's what we would have seen, you know, if we had seen an action movie right. of Luke Skywalker. Right. He's that perfect image. And that's what he was going, going to be what they needed from a hero. And I, I, don't, I like that story, but I didn't, I, I, it's, not, it's not something I wanted to see in Star Wars. Yeah, no, At I least mean... not at this juncture. It was like the the biggest cock tease. That would yeah. that, that would be much better saved for like the next movie. Yeah, that's why I still am okay with Luke doing that uh, as his main moment is that that fucking projecting a force ghost across the fucking galaxy and it being that perfect to fool everyone except for Leia. That that would be that's a great send off to a character. Yeah. Unfortunately, Carrie Fisher passed away, and now we don't have one of those characters to go into the next movie. <laughs> Unless yep. they do the right thing and bring back Lando. <laughs> Hashtag bring back Lando. But seriously, I do want Carrie to Fisher back dies. Like, what the hell, I'd be man? Okay Come on. That, why, yeah. why, 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 why? They are should you have not gone and cut that. Including Lando in this. Yeah. They did, should have cut the scene I mean, where Led? Luke vaporizes. He should have just been, <gasps> I thought I had a heart attack. And then continued to the credits. <laughs> and that would, honestly, that would help me a lot with this movie. Yeah. Him dying, him dying, Leia surviving is still the biggest. Uh, you could have Leia survive if you're going to take care of it in the next movie. Or, right. I hate to say take care of it. That sounds awful. That does but sound But we awful. lost Carrie Fisher. We're not a mob. We're it not a mob, have, man. I know. It could have <laughs> come out better. They could have done something. They've come out and to said have, they're not going to use CG. They won't, which is fine. I still say it's going to be a funeral at the beginning of the movie. I mean, which yeah. Which is bullshit. Um, unless you've that, got unused footage lying no, around that, of her I, doing you things. Know, that you would talk about poor send-offs for characters. Okay, would you? We're hating on this Luke, how Luke was handled. Yeah. You're fucking, no, I love the send off. You cut the Leia in a coffin? <laughs> I mean, in the next I, movie? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would no, I just honestly put her in a fucking like... garbage can and shoot her out the fucking garbage chute. <laughs> that in you just space. do that in no, the opening scene her, of the next movie. You burn her the way they burned uh, Vader. Oh, fucking hell. 
Okay, anyway, yeah. yeah I was like, what? Well, That's my fuck fucking that? mom calling me. Like, <laughs> why does she always call me at the right worst the possible times? Time? <laughs> I'm just gonna mom. Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, you give you give her some type type of funeral. She's the only character that deserves to die of old age in Star Wars. <laughs> is she? Yes. yes. Why? Yes. Yes. She why, doesn't why have to Luke because she you're, obviously you're doesn't want to do this anymore. A much younger, more yeah, powerful oh, Jedi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sith Luke can whatever. die of old age too, like like but, Yoda no. did. But right, I but, want him to do something first. I, I I got something. Hey Just... man, we got to see him pull out a lightsaber and turn it on. <laughs> it evade two yeah. attacks after forty years of waiting. I'm not. I wasn't even. I, I was ten years. That's ten years before I was alive on this earth. <laughs> People have been waiting, and and that's what you get. That's what you fucking give us. Yeah. Ugh. I would have preferred. I would have preferred Luke actually have been there and had him do the same damn thing that Obi Wan did. Yeah, no, it would have been, I didn't. I would have been. I would have, I would have been disappointed in, all, like, in that on, kind if, of retreat. Okay, if you ask me, on this hand, I have this, and this hand, I have that. I would I've, much preferred Luke because Kylo's younger, he's stronger, he's yeah. faster. It is what it is, man. Luke, but Luke did the right thing, and he actually went there. He was there. He wasn't. He wasn't at in, in danger of, of you know getting cut in half by a lightsaber. I don't care. It demean it, it knocks down his how heroic that act was in the movie. Yeah. If he would have actually been there, it, it, it would have meant a lot more. It might have mattered. It would have been much more. more impressive. I think if he survived, it it still would have been good enough for me. Man. But I mean, yeah, no, I to see him there, yeah. Totally would have wanted to see it there. All right. Totally. I, I was, like, thinking in my head earlier. I'm like, man, if he would have actually been there and if he would have, like, deflected fucking def- – and, and deflected all of the fucking gunfire back onto the AT-ATs and knocked him down <laughs> or, for- so... or force pushed them all down. You're talking – that's one of the most badass and then moments. And a dragon of, flies up and he jumps on its back and flies time. away like, yeah. That would have went no, down Luke, as no. the most badass shit I have ever seen in my entire Jumps life. In his like legendary, puts on awesome glasses. Exactly, like it just that awesome moment. Flies you, off into you the had sunset. A chance yep. to to have one of the most awesome moments ever, and you fucking you it's, didn't do anything at all. You didn't have. You didn't even try. <laughs> no, you didn't even, no. You didn't even try. I love you it. Just, I didn't even try. You like, immediately like... copped out. You, it's an immediate <laughs> cop out from yeah. the very get go because it's a fucking projection. Yeah. Which, I you mean, didn't even try. You of didn't course, do anything. Massively fucking impressive. And I, I, I like that idea. But come on, that man. That animal part of my brain. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I was disappointed. I'm with everything. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what I liked. Yeah. In this movie. I mean, I I wasn't left like, oh, man, I feel great about that or I'm excited about that. I enjoy it. I don't know, man. I am. I I mean, I guess I enjoyed (laughs) seeing Luke um, talk to uh, to R2-D2 and go back on the Falcon. That's the only part of the movie that, like, hey, that was cool. I liked Yoda. I thought that was good. Yeah, Yoda showed up. Crazy Yoda. Yeah. And (laughs) uh, Just being him, 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 his uh, eccentric old self from the, from the original trilogy. Yeah, yeah, fine I did appreciate they... that too. Him and Luke Skywalker. If they came up with together again, like any reason for Luke to have doubts and like have be talk, why didn't Yoda talk to Luke before he fucking pulled those lightsaber on his student? The fucking are you going to explain that to me? I, Yoda I wasn't. Mean, he hey was man, just fucking. He wasn't there on that one. Oh, Yoda only see, had it in him to for for one astral projection. Obi, Obi- <laughs> one was, astro, astral projection every like. Obi so Wan was watching him that day, and he fucked up. It's it's Obi Wan's it, it, bad. It, 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 he ran to the bathroom. No, it was it was death, like no no no. Uh, Anakin was watching oh, him that fuck, day. I uh, it. He fucking dropped his Cheetos and was <laughs> reaching down to grab him and grab looked him up and went, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> well, now it's too late. Fuck. Okay. Well, damn uh, it, Luke. Oh, I, I, oh, God, it's so, so, just... <laughs> <laughs> fucking useless you are. How many Force ghosts are there? There's, a, there's at least Fuck three that, that we know you? of, right? right? Yeah, it's Qui-Gon, three. Obi-Wan, and Yoda. Oh, no, no Anakin, too. Anakin. Anakin took four. Yeah, so. Anakin. I mean, Where? Okay. 
I fucked up on this. We did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here comes Yoda in this moment. This 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 you know yeah. predicament that Luke's in. To, to why why did they not help him during oh, and the, apparently a force, way bigger predicament. Force ghosts can call lightning. Hey man. Okay, but you know what? that's Yoda. Cool. I will give Yoda that. Okay. I will give Yoda that. But I. Yoda is the you know the the he, Jedi Palpatine. He's yeah. one of the most powerful. He Jedi. he is he's the Jedi Papa. He, he is he's the highest. Granddaddy. He is the he is the patriarch. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no, I, I I I could see Yoda coming back as a Force ghost and striking a fucking tree with lightning. That doesn't bother me. No, it didn't. Bo- I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It's uh, I don't know. It's it's, it, it's silly. <laughs> it could have been useful. Hey man, other places. You, you think it's though? Like, yeah, seriously. I it's I just, mean, <laughs> it's so unfortunate that our you know people can immediately dismiss any complaints that you know that people have with the movie was like oh. You shouldn't have waited with expectations. You shouldn't have had oh, any you're expectations, sticking to your fanboy man. fan theories you're just too much. You're fanficking it, and it's just not what you wanted. No, in <laughs> uh, we can go into Rain in this movie. Rian Johnson. Um, yeah, I I don't mind that she's friends, not from nobody. Right I mean, Ray Ray is an okay. Character. Is it really Brian? It's not Brian. It's Rian. R I A. Ryan Johnson. Oh, it is Ryan Johnson. What the fuck? Did it... That's Rian what I call. Johnson. Oh, it's not Rian. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I mean, I've heard I it mean, pronounced. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've never heard it pronounced Rian. I've everyone, I everyone I watch it. always pronounces it Ryan. If it's if it's Rian, you need to really talk to people. <laughs> Say, hey, y'all are pronouncing my name wrong. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, Twitter not, is a thing, friends, dude. I, I, Twitter is a thing. Just yeah. just p- post a five second video. My name is Rian. Yeah, I'm Boom. gonna go with Ralph Garman. Of that's not a fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your fucking name. Thank yeah, you, Ralph. No, I feel you. But I'm I'm okay with Ray. Um, I I don't okay, I don't I don't, we... I don't take as much an issue with her as some of the other characters. Yeah. I like that she I I like that she isn't necessarily you know born into to power. It's mm-hmm. it's a it's a good message. I, yeah, I didn't like them insinuating yeah. you can be whatever you you can be a you can be a Jedi Master. Anybody can be a Jedi Master. Yeah, like, uh, or whatever. No, basically, I, I don't you know. have to. You, no, I don't. They could say that, but no. Then they'd show the little kid at the end with force powers, and it's like uh, anybody. You know, really, we, we saw Finn get his fucking ass kicked before. You know, that's how. I, that's I want to feel that way about it. But you know, Anakin is essentially you know space Jesus. That's what I was gonna say. Is he um, didn't come from nothing? Yeah, I don't like that. I, it's still not. It, it, that was a bad choice. For I don't. They never clarified if there were any previous like like uh. uh so theoretically, if if it's probably like, not a, jet, a line of it's got plenty of fuel. This force is sensitivity shitty. should go back all the way back to the right through one you know one generation of people the whole way through. I don't know. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. It, it should. I don't know. It, it could be random. That's that's going. On like theories of why the force do what it do, but <laughs> I just don't space like that. Magic, I don't so like that they, it we're, space back, magic. we're back to it being space magic. They, yeah, they have which is good. Thought Make about it space saying magic. the M word. Yeah. Don't either. Yes, movie. it's space magic. Yeah, the, <sighs> it's a beautiful like thinking space magic. Don't it, fucking complicate it with science. <clears throat> um, I mean, hey man, Obi Wan Kenobi's metachlorian count shut was up. way lower oh, than a lot of other Jedi. Shut, and he just, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I I, I kind of like it. Like, and I think this is where Elder Scrolls draws its, its inspiration from, from magic, where it's just kind of a it's it's a source of power that is malleable and it's life. Is, is, it, it, I was going to get to that where it's like it's almost sentient on its own, but it flows throughout the universe, and those who in the know can draw on its power and use it to invoke things. They can use it to invoke their will on reality, and that's that's. I mean, the Force has definitely been shown to do that, and that's kind of the way magic works in the Elder Scrolls. So it's like. That that's kind of how this is. They introduced I, I like a, that. A, I like that. That's a, what it needs to be. They introduced a big thing with the force, where like you know the the balance. The, I was just gonna say that I Matrix don't like thing, that they, like where in the Matrix you know it evens out. They, blah, blah, they blah. insinuated that for every Jedi there has to be an equal and opposite yeah, Sith. Okay, and for we, every uh, Sith there has is, to be an equal, which had, obviously isn't true. Which is right, throughout right. Star Wars. Which is I mean, bad. Well, yeah, you look you, at the rule of you, two. You, yeah, yeah, the Sith have had the role of two for so long, and there's been way more than one Jedi, and oh, Jedi yeah. who are more powerful. So it's like, oh, so it, they it's weren't not always a rule thing. of two. They were no, the, they, that's that happened. F- 
Yeah, they weren't and always. And technically, really Rule of Two isn't even canon anymore. They haven't no, mentioned but... it in the movies. Yeah, but no, that's I mean... still the idea everyone's going with because right. you have Master and Apprentice, right? Which got me thinking. It's a huge problem, like them introducing that because then it's, you yeah, go back and think about sense. everything. And even in this movie, okay. It's why it's a, a throwaway Who, thing that I think you, have you could Snoke. say Snoke is lying. You have yeah. Snoke who's more powerful than... Or supposed to be more powerful. <clears throat> more powerful than, you know, Darth Vader no. and the Emperor. Once again, Who's his very opposite. opposite. Not it's not Luke. No. It's not Yoda. Yoda's I, gone. I mean, considering that Luke Who cut himself it? off from the Force, you know, years ago, he has, he has nothing. So I, I don't... I mean, so that's a problem. Yeah, it's, that's, that's like, a problem that I had with this movie. Also, just like Snoke, you, I almost <laughs> you can throw away everything he says. Yeah, and just like they did with the character. Uh, <laughs> and get, don't get me wrong, he is a total the throwaway. Fact, the fact that he died and how he died, why he died, I'm fine with all of that. It's what bothers me is that we don't get a any information about who he was. Yeah, and it's that that's like fluff, nerdy. A nerd thing like I want to know like just give me something even yeah. if it's in passing even if it's like who was Snoke blah 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 like two seconds of exposition I'd be happy yeah give it uh, just, I just wanted anything. that and they'll say oh well we'll do it in the book or something but I wanted it in the movie you don't don't wait for everything to be in the book just like this whole entire holo character yeah it, it, it's it's stupid to sit there and even assume that people have read the book yeah you know like like no I I didn't even know there was a book. I felt Ro- like there is no book. That's what I, I'm saying. Oh, I didn't well, see, like her what character the at all. Oh, for um, her, for her, there is a little. There's a, right there, a like, young there's adult a, book. There's apparently a story behind why her hair color is what it is. Oh, because she's movie. a rebel. She's but a different person. I won't know that. No, there's she's on the spectrum. I haven't read the book. And <laughs> Shut I up. Said, but uh, there's a specific character reason why she is like that. Why she's rocking that hairdo? She, yeah, and she's it, just funny. If I hadn't read the books. I mean, I wouldn't know about that. I mean, yeah, going into it, and I had it, no clue she's why she was kind important. Of out of place in the aside movies. from her saying she's she looks, an admiral. She's, oh, okay. She'd be in place in like Guardians of the Galaxy with with that, but in this movie, she did not fit at all. She's like more no. She was so Star boring that she wouldn't fit in Guardians I mean, of the Galaxy. Either. It's like I said, uh, like I just said, I had no idea who she was. No. I had no reason why I cared yeah. about her. No. Because the only the only backstory or anything I got was that her and Leia were old friends, and she's an admiral in, in the Rebel fleet. It's like, what Rebel fleet is there for her to be an admiral of anyway? Not anymore. You know, like, I don't... Okay, she's an admiral. Why does she matter? Mm-hmm. Well, she's a woman with purple hair, and there's hints that she's a lesbian. Okay, that's great. Why does she matter? You know, like, that. That's that's still a thing for me. You've given me... I mean, beyond being progressive for the sake of being progressive, you've given me no reason to actually care about her. There's, I have no emotional attachment to this character. Her so her death, while it was really, like really cool... at all. I mean, her death yeah, was really well, cool, did, and like we she said... She went out was, like a boss. She did. Fine. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, best... Part, like I said, it's best scene of the movie for me. Mm-hmm. But it had no emotional impact beyond being, that's so fucking cool yeah. that that's what happens when something collides and there's something else at light speed. Whether or not it is, we, we don't know. It doesn't it's, matter. It's but... like she was two separate characters throughout the movie. She was like that that moment, that awesome character. But then most of the time, it's like... She was just she... being a hard-ass commander. And it and like it why, really... Why would you... And her character, whatever. like... like in... Like, why would you not communicate your plan? Like, once fucking oh, guns are, so once dumb. guns begin to be, be pulled on each, on each other, yeah. and the mutiny is about to happen, how do you for not most go, hey, of that man, movie? I thought she was okay, going to turn out to be an imperial spy because That's it is so where they were unreasonable, unreasonable for her character not to have said there is a plan. Chill the fuck out. Right. Yeah. The fact it is so unreasonable that I, there, I, I, honest I mean, to God, thought there. They're, they were setting her they're, up they're, as being a bad character. Yeah, yeah. and bad, then oh, they're guy. gonna and even like, then, she's a bad like, guy. oh, this is a re- yeah, oh, this is a redemption. She's not actually bad. She's really, but it didn't. It doesn't feel like she's a redemption like a complete... for her mistake. It doesn't feel like no. It's, yeah, they, it, they introduce her character in every scene after that. It's like okay, this is one hundred percent the mole in the bad the bad guy. Yeah, here and then at the very end when they when this the after Leia stops Poe, it's like, oh, no, nope, she's back to being the character from the very first scene. It's like two characters. And yeah, like, a duality that just doesn't work in any way, shape, or form. I <laughs> wanted to see the character that spoke to Leia, and instead you don't get that. You got someone who seemed like they had no idea what they were doing, but they don't like that guy. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. That that's seemed exactly like, what it felt if, like. If it's you just wanted like, to make some some kind of like stance on like uh like a powerful woman or something, you didn't do a very good job because she seems incompetent for most of it. And it doesn't come out like, oh my god, she had this awesome plan. It comes out, oh my god, why didn't you say something, you idiot? It would have it would have gone so much why farther. Not? It would have it maybe it might have yeah. given me that emotional I connection just, that I I need yeah. to actually care about a character because like that that's a, that's very important in storytelling is you need to know why this character matters yeah and they, and they did, don't give they you that. Th- they don't do that at all like I said beyond she's a friend of Leia's she's an old friend and she's an admiral okay that's that's cool. why okay why why do you not tell them right the, the whole time they the, should that's have been one thing spent I didn't understand no no, no why here would you... you not tell them what harm is there in telling them okay the... we're trying to get we're trying to just stay out of reach and use as little fuel as possible to get us as close as possible to this planet where there's an already established base right. left there. And then we're going to, when we get so close, we're going to go and you know the there are no spots because spies. they can't track they can't the escape that pods because they're too small. They're looking for something massive. They're not going to notice these blips. And it's like, okay, fucking what? great. You, why, why, why did you put Poe or uh, Finn and Rose through all of that shit? Oh, so you could have a stupid sacrifice later in the movie? Yeah, it, oh, so you could have a, a ham-fisted love story that does nothing to make me go, oh, that's adorable. It's like, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. That whole arc. That whole I didn't arc, think that was that adorable. Whole arc, that whole arc Finn was just like, dumb. Finn had like, whoa. What's going oh, on no, here? Yeah. Chill out. To me, it Why really feels like me? it would have fe- felt there was like if there was another it. moment like, there. Is- yeah, going to have a bad time in the next minute. If there was another moment, he would have been like, whoa, we're just friends. Like, it would have been heart-wrenching. Like, honestly, that's the impression I got from almost all of their interactions beyond the one where they, they tore up the city racing the, the fox-cat-horse yeah. hybrid things. Like, that was the only real connection I know that close. they actually made. And it's like, and now they're supposed to be in love with each other? And she's supposed Her to in love with well, him. She's oh, in love well, yeah. with him. And also, this is this is twelve hours after they met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like you're maybe, you're maybe. I, I, you know what? I'll give him a day. This How about fir- a day? Give him a day. More than twelve hours. Let's give him a day. Let's give him a full twenty-four gonna, hours. <laughs> Why not? But they one, went through some shit together. This character is going to teach people one thing. It's like you know, don't be a creeper because she didn't seem that way. into him the whole time either. I but she's not normally around people, so her falling for him that quick. Almost makes a weird bit of sense. I mean, from that it particular was just angle, really, it was that, like, why put it in here? Because it's just bad. It's not a love story. It's a, it's, it's a really awkward cringe story. Yeah, <sighs> it's unfortunate. I mean, a lot of a lot of nerves might might relate to that. <laughs> Maybe, but, but not in the not in a good way. Not definitely not in a good way. That's gonna like, invoke... oh, that happened to me once. This is gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. That's, that's terrible. Like unrequited love is terrible, man. Yeah, like, unless I... they go the fan route and oh, I love you too. Believe me, yeah, no. I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been. We've all been there, and that's Trust the point me, that I'm. This is some I, shit. I know. That's the point that I'm <laughs> making. Like we've all been there. That's not something I want Story to relate to. I don't want to see that. You know, like. <laughs> Don't remind me of this my failures got way in too life. Real. I'm gonna go, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, in the next movie we're gonna hear senpai notice me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If that if, if anything resembling that pops up, I'm fucking walking out right then and there. <laughs> that's if I even go Give and see the fucking money. movie. That's if, that's if I even go and see the movie. Yeah, but I, I swear to you, Star man. Wars, I'm still gonna see it. But that sacrifice I that know. Rose made, no just... matter what, I'm in for the for nine. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh, oh, that was so God, Rose, so so stupid. Rose it's like that we're gonna win by the power of love, bitch. Wonder Woman hadn't shown up yet, so you don't get to win through the power of love. You just got all of your friends killed. Yeah, way you to fucking go. Bitch. She way really to fucking did. Go. She did. She got a hand. Like, how many people from the rebellion inside that door killed when they blasted the fucker off the hinges because she didn't let Finn stop it? And I, I like. I mean, considering before, there's maybe uh, twenty of them left, you know, there's like there's legit twelve resistance people left, which is enough. Like, okay, Luke fades away as a force ghost because I guess <laughs> kind of just went down a little he's, bit more. He's at peace. No, he wasn't. He, I, in the, the only movie. excuse is that he used too much power and fucking had a massive heart attack because he has a confused face like, oh, is that Earlier, her left arm? And then he's gone. Earlier yeah, in no, the movie, he, Luke he, says the war is just beginning. And in the, at the end of the movie, 
he is so at peace with what he's done in the state of things that you know there's only 12 resistance members back that i'm going to i'm i'm so at peace that i'm going to fade away now i'm done it's done he even said, i apologize to later, kylo kid. ren What's the what do you say? Catch you later, kid, or see you later, kid. Something see like see that. Something that was kid. so good. That's what, that's that what line, Han would say. I was say. like, yes, that's awesome. That's and then like... they fucking and then they do a moment where he breathes heavy, and it's like, oh, he's good. Okay, no, he's good. He's good. Okay, and then he fades away, and I'm like, this is not. That fucking line okay. is like, I know what you did to Han. Yeah. See you around, kid. This is exactly what your father would have said to you in this moment. Oh. Yeah, no, pretty much like that. That is that is Han Solo in a nutshell. That is complete. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm still hung up on the fucking sacrifice, man. Like the well, way she did the dumbest fucking thing. Yeah, she crashes she... into him, keeps him from fucking crashing I, into I that thing and destroying it. She it's expected like... Wonder Woman to fall out of the and, sky. You know, my gut reaction to that is like, oh, you know, I can't have Finn die there. And then actually, I got to thinking about it. You know, it let Finn go out like a boss. Kind of fitting for his character. Yeah. To go Total out that redemption way. too. Yeah, complete redemption because he was running away at first, and now he's like, "No, fuck this! I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna save my friends. I'm gonna save the universe. This is how those, I do it. Like this is how two I go characters out." Characters meet earlier in the movie because yeah. she sees him as this war hero. That's why she's so infatuated with him, and he's seen by the rebellion as the as this this war hero. Yeah, and he actually becomes that war hero. If at yes. that moment, if at that moment, like she that. There had been fucking starfighters, and the help they called actually showed up. Or if you had gotten your Luke Skywalker moment, and an X-wing comes in and strafes the miniature Death Star tech bullshit, yeah, that would have been amazing. Like, oh no, I saw X-wing over there. It would have been like, oh, okay, she saved Finn. Awesome, that's great. No, it's just we have to win through love. Bang. Oh. Fuck, also, we just lost, didn't we? We just lost through love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, just, love. Oh, oh, love just got us all wiped out. Great. Oh, love, has, love has had the galaxy under the Empire's thumb for, like, yeah. decades. And yeah. then when we finally got that thumb off, the First Order came and put it back under that thumb and wiped out any hope that we had. Wonder yeah. Woman gets away with that mentality because she's uh, fucking She's Wonder in World Woman. War One. <laughs> she's in World War One, and she's, like... Nearly indestructible, and she yeah, can she's take goddamn Wonder Woman. Yeah, right. Like she can take that beating and have love win. That's They're love wins because she's fucking Wonder Woman. If you're yeah. not Wonder Woman, love is gonna lose. Okay, <laughs> love is gonna <laughs> you hurt made you. The wrong love decision, is gonna kill you. Right? It's gonna hurt you and it's everyone gonna get around you. And you and a bunch of fucking rebellion people killed. <sighs> like, like that. That the that's... incompetence of it. Seriously, man, I, I'm one of those people. Like, like incompetence is like my worst enemy. Mm-hmm. I it, it is the bane of my existence, and when I see it, it pisses me off. And that 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 is an example of incompetence of the highest order. Like what what the fuck is wrong who with you? Who wants to join a rebellion whose leaders are constantly the only ones who fucking survive? Yes, you know, <laughs> seriously, I I don't want to be a part of that. I'm just, you know what? Are you going to be the leadership again? Oh, oh cool. No, we'll I'm start good. our own. Yeah, I'm good over here, or I'm going to start my own. You don't get to lead it. You're the only ones who constantly survive. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd rather sweep up a uh, rat dog hybrid wolf shit. Like, yeah. I'm good. You you keep that. I don't want to die for your cause. You know, like, fuck it. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine being a slave child. I mean, it sucks because I'm a slave and I'm a child. But fuck, dude. I'm not dying. Be- you, you, fuckers, you fuckers can survive. The only thing that excuses the fact that it's th- that, that stupid kid – the only thing that excuses it is that he actually has – he has the force. He's going to be a Jedi. That excuses it since, okay, fine. He might think he can do a difference because he's also got space magic. Yeah. Fine. Heard, uh, you can go join the doomed rebellion. I feel like that was just like, oh, let's set up a new trilogy. Oh, it was. It, told, it, it felt like – it's felt like let's reboot that Star kid. Wars. Is, like is after it after this trilogy? The, the I guess it doesn't it giving, go to him. I guess they're giving this guy the next trilogy. No, so no, no, no. He's got he's got a trilogy. It's not going to be episodic. It's going to be its own thing. Completely. Well, I, after when they're done here, there's going to be nothing left. Oh, of, the of original course they trilogy. will. Are you kidding me? Ken uh, Ray is going to have a student. She's going to train. It's he's going to turn on her. They're gonna. He's gonna I, join the remnants of the remnants of the of the Empire for any more movies yeah. after the next one. That's exactly what's gonna happen. 
I and mean, I feel be like the only thing you will ever see from the original trilogy and a future trilogy this is the Millennium Falcon and, and this, the lightsabers. Well, yeah, lightsabers. <laughs> this and the Millennium being Falcon. And That's this it. being the most different Star Wars. They're killing the fact everything. that it it goes back to the most basic of Star Wars story just shows that it didn't it didn't fucking matter. Yeah, no, I, that's what I'm saying. Like it, the yeah. last four, five, six, and seven, it completely invalidates all of it. Yeah, I mean, less so for seven because seven was a setup. But it's yeah. it, it, four, seven five, kind and six. Set it. Four, yeah. five, and six. The whole reason this entire series exists, the whole reason that all of this even matters, and they threw all of it out of the window mm. and completely ignored all Fucking, of it. Uh, Mark Hamill, he, he's been quoted in interviews like. He disagrees with how his character, anyways, was handled yeah, to immensely. such an extent that he has like fanficted and he's had his, he's changed the way he sees it. He's like, okay, George Lucas. Oh, he Disney sees it as a one hundred percent two different characters. Yeah, that's George Lucas, Luke Skywalker. This is Disney, Luke Skywalker. This is a different character. That's what this man has to tell himself because. Of how mishandled his character was. I mean, and honestly, I'm, I'm why did he leave a map? Him. I'm inclined to agree with him. Why did he leave the map? He didn't want to be bothered. He didn't want to be contacted because they needed help. Why would he leave the fucking map? Yeah, like that, why? Why would he leave it's any a sort huge, of hint as oh, to where aren't, he went? There aren't that many plot holes in this. Yeah, they're fucking are massive plot holes. The plot entire movie is a plot hole. Star Wars. The entire movie is a fucking yeah. plot hole. I mean. I, none of it makes any sense. There's ham-fisted things that don't belong. There are characters that are supposed to matter who just don't. It's like they come out of nowhere, and then they there's no explanation. They killed Admiral Akbar off screen, yes! and that's how they let you know was oh Akbar They're like was oh by the way Admiral Akbar is dead. <laughs> I liked. But come on, man! Such a pivotal part of Star Wars. I still say that the giving biggest him, like they meme. should have given him or Leia that moment. <laughs> And then you could keep that pink, uh, the the Admiral Holdo, the pink haired chick, keep her and get her as a good character. Like like let us grow, let her build, and let like, her give matter. You, she could then sacrifice herself in the next movie or have awesome moments in the next movie, and we would feel like yes, this is amazing. This is what I want to see from this character. Instead of oh man, maybe she'll be oh she's gone. Like the only reason I remembered she was from a book is because of all different previews, people talking about the movie. Saying they can't wait to see what they do with Laura Dern's character because the character's in, you know, doesn't have too much. And we want to see, oh, let's see what they do with her, how she's going to act and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then it ends up like meaningless, just like Benicio del Toro's character. Oh. Fucking just, oh, it, 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 it is a bin it. Uh, and then walking away. It's that's, like, that's, it that's took Andy me Serkis. Like, it that's took Benicio me like del Toro. 15 oh. lines from him was only to us. figure out what the fuck oh, was going on. I'm like, oh, he has a stutter. No, actually, no. I don't know what I going like, on. He but... can be such a huge, like, I, I, I honestly, I want him to come back in the next movie to be a huge, just back and forth, shady motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just... But it just felt off in this movie. Like, I wanted him to, like, come back and... Bring pick them up in a ship or something, and instead he's just he's just no I'm I'm a dick and leaves. <laughs> there's no explanation. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no, just nothing. not really an explanation. It's a payday for him. A closure. I mean, I don't which know. Is, he I, saves. I, I want to say life. cool. He's a rogue like in that like that makes more money, and he's not wrong. I would have rather they seen him be today, a more Han Solo. You shoot trope. them tomorrow. It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm just saving my own life. <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, I, I the movie was just not good, and you know all what? the people that they are like the next visually, movie it was right, good. Be prequels all over again. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, and like, there, I, I've seen comments online where people are like, "Well, the, the Empire Strikes Back, they nobody liked that at first. Now it's one of the best Star Wars movies ever." No, okay, these these are entirely be different. I wasn't, I wasn't alive then, then, but I'm calling bullshit. Yeah. I, the amount of fervor after every Star Wars movie that I've only read about and seen, uh, I don't, I, I yeah. don't see uh, how um, the Empire was the one because everyone hates on Jedi. For yeah. everyone hates. I um, mean, I've heard that I've heard from older folks that you know the movies were a, a much were just as big a deal back then, yeah, as they are now. Yeah, I, I just can't. I don't. I don't get it. 
I don't get what they were going for with this movie. If you wanted to fragment your your fan base and piss yeah half of us off, well, I guess you did what you were saying. I, mean, I don't understand. Do. I don't understand the like. No, we're gonna do the opposite. We're just gonna and do its opposite day, right? Yeah. Whatever. I don't understand why it like, felt what is, like a science fiction that? movie instead of a fantasy movie. Star Wars is fantasy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's got science fiction sprinkled so, in. Yeah, but what? It's, it's got a science fiction. So it's a fantasy. But it's a fantasy. Are you trying to get fans off your back by completely yeah. just shitting on everything? Like, okay, the fans would – boy, they would love this. Let's mm. not do that. We can't do that. We're going to do something different than that. So, you like, know, all the some... setup that this movie did, <coughs> let's just ignore all of it. No, just... That was dumb. Vastly but... different than that. We're kind of almost opposite of what the fans would enjoy. I feel like sometimes fans need that. They need to not get exactly what they wanted. However, <sighs> give us at least some fan service in the movie. Give us a little some bit. A little bit. I mean, we're the reason that it's yeah. making money. We're the I'd reason that it's popular. I'd have been just happy with well, another space this battle. Is Star Wars. Something sh- like a serious fucking X Wing TIE left. Fighter fight. And we got none of that. You should leave the theater feeling good about life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you should feel the theater. After a Star Wars movie, and ex- you know. even you should even, be happy. You shouldn't be confused. I should be excited. Yes, at least. And I don't this, care. That was like the whole thing about building hope that they tried to tack on. There, I didn't. I didn't what feel. Hope? Hope. I don't care. What? That I don't the feel old like I want to see what then. comes next. You know what? The old movies, the original trilogy, may have come out when it did, but I watched them for the first time at some point in my life. So. I don't like I and and the original trilogy and I never really got that from um uh Empire Strikes Back. Right. Um that uh I never got that shitty middle movie vibe. Yeah. No. It was I always mean, like fuck yeah Star Wars. I mean we and sat even down. Though I don't, it does so end I don't darker. get like oh it doesn't end. this is just the darker middle movie. It's just playing yeah. that role. I don't, I don't know man. I didn't get that from any middle metal movie in in Star Wars. No. I mean I watched it for the first time with you guys, like the original trilogy, mm-hmm. like what a couple years back, you know, because I, I I grew up in a Star Trek household. Not that we were ever Star Trek is better than Star Wars because they're two different things, but you know, I I never got to see Star Wars. I mean, yeah, I I agree with you. I I never after after that I was like, man, I don't know, how, I don't know how to feel about that. I walked out of this movie the the movie theater after seeing this movie just so let down. And confused and bummed out, and it just kept getting gradually worse yeah, and worse. Yeah. And it kept it just set in like it wasn't bummed oh out. Oh my like god, BBS that either. actually just happened. Luke's that is that is what happens to with Luke Skywalker. That is what happens with all of these characters, and it it, it sucks. It left me really bummed out. Like that's what you do with these characters. That's Luke fucking Skywalker. He is Star Wars. <laughs> Him and R two D two are Star Wars. The whole fucking reason you're in the you're making this movie is because fucking fucking a little farm boy fucking uh, Luke Skywalker runs into the goddamn the they try to buy the other droid. The droid blows <laughs> up and fucking they buy R two D two. Those are the two characters that 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 is Star Wars, yeah. and you you pay no attention at all to R two D two throughout these movies so far. I had forgotten the scene was even in there, right? Until I was really trying to and think of like my favorite scenes, and I love it with Luke Skywalker. Oh, Jesus <sighs> Fucking Chewie feels like. He's only in this movie to fly the Millennium Falcon once. I got a huge compl- and to he's eat a cabbie. Porgs. Chewie not being he, he's in this a cabbie. Movie he's either. only there to what, eat pork. What's Chewie doing the whole time? He's he just, just, just even hanging out porks. on the ship. He don't care no more. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about R two D two C three PO or Chewie in these movies. Yeah, and unfortunately, it, same thing with the well. Chewie was more in the last movie. Now yeah, think no, about he, it. Well, that's I mean, just he, him yeah. and Han are in separate. Yeah, there for yeah, but. Man, it just like, makes me mad. I don't feel like Chewie's not participating just because Han's not part of it anymore. Chewie's that heroic <laughs> character. No, he's he in there for one joke. He would not just sit on the fucking on the ship. Yeah, and, yeah, but he, uh, yeah, know, exactly. Firefly speak. He would not just sit on the boat and and when, not do anything. Yeah, when no, Luke is Chewbacca being a little shit. This. Yeah, when Luke is being a little shit, the two things they should have done. They did one <laughs> with R two D two. The second one should have been Chewie coming out and slapping his shit. Yeah. yeah, I like yeah, when Chewie. Seriously. I like when Chewie kicked the door or off did the he hinges. Argue? Oh, he did. Okay, Chewie, yeah, yeah. He did Chewie the, should oh, have yeah, yeah. scolded him. He did have that moment. Scolded I him that. and told him what happened to Han and Chewbacca speak. It would have been yeah. cool. I mean, 
<sighs> Where's Han? And because fucking, uh, I did, you know. Uh, yeah, that's, see, him. I have I have hard problems with this movie because there were things I really really loved. That's one of them. You just reminded me of when fucking Luke has the moment where he realizes Han is gone, and he's there with Chewie. It's something that should have happened with Chewie and Leia and didn't in the last movie. Yeah. Um, but it happened here, and I really really loved it. It was and it, it was, was good. really really good. It yeah. felt like Star Wars in a movie that didn't have enough Star Wars. <laughs> I got nothing more to say. Rogue One, Rogue One feels like a hell of a lot more Star Wars than this not, movie, and that's a problem because Rogue One is a mess. And yeah. I, did say I love it, but it's a after mess. After seeing it, I'm like, not much happens in this movie. <laughs> you did, and I looked at him because in my head I wanted what, to immediately what? go, "You're full of shit." And then I went, "I can't disagree with him." What? I, happens? There's nothing what I can do. Think about. They um, fucking run. What happens? They destroy. A, they destroy a rich people city. Your, your uh, perspective of time is warped. No, like that's the Finn and Rose storyline. Yeah, but not, okay. So what happened? Point A to B for the people on the on the ships. I mean, Ray finds out. Ray like, finds out her parents. Okay, nothing happens. That's cool at all. Also, light speed, s- light speed travel is not nearly as fast as they this made it for those two characters. Three really. This is this movie feels like to me three really short, like twenty minute movies intercut. Like you got Ray and Luke on the island, yeah. then you got Finn and Rose on Cantaba, and then you have um... <clears throat> waiting for in the credits, edited by Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> what was that oh, company God. that edited um, on, Suicide Squad? That bad. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and it feels just... like they just intercut those parts. I felt like I had gotten kicked in the gut when I was it, 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 it was it was a few different short films. Kind of fused together, and like nothing transpired, nothing big transpires in this movie. Yeah, like there there isn't Luke much Skywalker that fucking is gone. Like nothing is. It feels like it, it feels like nothing they lost in this the bomber movie. Ships. Nothing in this movie mattered. Like no. zero zero. This movie. It's Poe like, is a complete fucking moron. Yeah, and at the end of the movie, he's just like, "Hey, man, Poe got so many people killed in this movie. He Poe did. got a lot of people killed. Yeah, but." Part of it wasn't his fault. The, and honestly, at the beginning, I, I get what he was trying to do with the Dreadnought or yeah. whatever. It and was. I, that's so, like, totally I'm all, in his I, character to be yeah, the hotshot pilot. And I'm kind of on board with what – with what not maybe not the whole thing. There were some parts that we've already discussed that were mm-hmm. stupid. But it's like I, I, I'm kind of okay with what he did. Like destroying a Dreadnought, destroying something that could wipe them out completely. But fine. I get you. That do that. wiped out a whole lot of rebellion yeah, like getting you, that done. You, you lost, lost all, all them bombers. Lost ships. all of your bombers. <laughs> Every one of the bombers they had, they lost in that battle. Makes no sense because he wears the fucking Y-Wings, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ignore B-Wings even exist. Goddamn. Man, I mean, there was an A-Wing. I did see an A-wing. Was there any? Yeah, there was, was an A-wing. I saw an A-wing. Yeah, I was happy. That was kind of cool. There was a chick pilot in an A-wing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not that sweaty with Star Wars. I'm where I know like nope, X-wings, else. Y-wings, A-wings. Nothing. Oh, it's I'm just the shape of the wings. With the fucking, I know. That's I figured, all it is. I mean, I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> Franz is like, I knew the one in the X. <laughs> the, the, the X is the X. <laughs> the X-wing, yeah. Like that... The, I, I get what he was doing with that, so that's one thing. I think that's the only thing that he did the entire movie that I'm like, okay, I'm on board with you. I mean, you got a lot of fucking people killed, and that was really stupid, but I, I mean, understand. I was on board with him. Actually, I was all sympathetic to him the whole time because he's – especially when he gets up there and pleads with Holdo, please, all of these people, we need something. Just tell us there's a plan. Let us know we're not all going to die in vain. And, and she, she was sits such a there, villain and she just to goes, it. "Get him out of here." What did, I don't even remember. She said, "It's a need to know basis." And oh, you're you're Princess Leia before she. Oh yeah, whatever, she like, actually demoted so you, didn't stupid. she? Yeah. Like, like she's a complete bad do you, guy. Do you she's think the, someone is the mole? <laughs> she's she's putting like petty squabbles above the survival of the rebels. Is someone on this ship? Do you really think there's a spy at this point? Who's going to tell the rebellion to tell the empire that when they literally are about to be blown up? Yeah, n- there's no there's no taking prisoners. They're yeah. not going to board that ship. They're just going to blow it up. Yeah, Everyone that's all they want to do. That. That's what they've been trying to do the entire fucking movie is blow it up. They don't want. They don't want. They don't A want. A spy to... is not going to tell them about the plan. Yeah, they're not going to survive. It's, it's I, I just there was no reason for it at all. 
no given reason. If it was any other kind of plan and there was a huge chance, like, oh, we had to get the mole, I would have it would have been forgivable. Right. But there's no insinuation there's just, of that. There's just nothing. Like I said, her character, her entire character doesn't matter the way they had hoped she would. Yep. She, I, I don't care about her dying. Like, her dying was really fucking cool. But I, and it, it should have it should have been impactful. It should have been, but it wasn't. Should have been somewhat impactful. I, in fact, I was cheering for it. Should have been. <laughs> like should have been I didn't like any new character in this movie. I didn't. like Not Rose. really. Rose was pointless. I didn't like uh, the fucking general. We're yeah, talking the Admiral about. Holdo. Holdo. I, I like blanking on her name. <laughs> Did they count? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. They, they, yeah. The Crystal Wolves. And you I know what? You know, like, like an Benicio awesome Del animatronic. Toro's they didn't use the animatronic. Luke, I, you're part of the problem. I was ready to hate the Porgs. I fucking loved the Porgs. Yeah, yeah I, I was ready to hate them too. The and they scene were where they fucking get on the ship and it just cuts to them biting up the chairs and making a fucking nest and making themselves at home. <laughs> and Chewie's just there mad as shit but can't do anything except growl. He's it's like, just uh, one of the, it was it. one of the jokes that really fucking worked. Yep. Yeah, he just kind of had the, 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 the whole fuck you, it thing. You get the scene when he, uh, they didn't show him killing and, you know, prepping yeah. one of the porgs, but he was about to, he cooked and was about to eat a porg. And you get See, that scene of them all just... Looking at him all doughy With the and stuff. Like, I think that would have been funnier like, if he, really? if a, he like, my gave mom? in. If he had given in and thrown it uh, some food and it ate it. That yeah. would have been great. Little fucking cannibal things. Right. A little bit better. It might have that would have been, been, that that been entertaining as fuck. Like, this, oh, no. He's got a puppy. This is a yeah. Disney movie. <laughs> exactly. But then, Do it anyway. Mommy, and honestly, it later on. It's mommy? I mean, later on <laughs> when the Millennium Falcon's flying through and getting blasted at and the little pork is sitting there and he just screams. I love that. That was good, too. Oh, my too. God. I love yeah. that. That was great. Yeah, but. I, <laughs> like the porgs fucking flying. <laughs> I like the porgs. Uh, I'm fucking the porgs were I, the porgs were. And you get the scene okay. with the porg on the dashboard at the end when that's what he just down. said. Did, did <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's dashboard. exactly Sorry, what I just I, said. You My looked bad. down I was, and saw tits on your phone. Didn't no, you? I was reading. Okay, about tits. I, Ron, <laughs> I'm, more, I'm, gonna, I'm not really I'm a boobs ask, guy. I'm sorry. That's true. Yeah, no, Ron likes big butts, and you can't lie. <laughs> you other brothers, but maybe, maybe. <sighs> all right, so, all right, all right. I think we should wind it down there. Uh, I, the last Jedi was not good. If if you haven't gotten that yet, we we didn't we didn't like it. I didn't like it. I was I'm very disappointed. Yeah. I didn't, I, and to all the people, I didn't like anything about it. All the people are like, uh, we're, we forgot one huge scene, the, oh, oh, the Ray we? and Kylo fight scene when in, yeah, when yeah. Snoke's interrogated. That uh, was we forgot it awesome. because it's actually good. That yeah, was yeah. awesome. We're, we're we're so focused on what's ne- the negatives of this That's movie. That's the only part of this movie where I was I was, let, was left feel, feeling good. Like oh fuck, because I was I was so anxious about Luke yeah. at the end. I've yeah. already die. Yeah, you that's know, why I'm I like, want to oh watch God, it again. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I was so anxious. I I couldn't really enjoy it like that. But <laughs> the Kylo and Ray when they ta- when they team up to kill those those. Snoke's Praetorian head guards. Yeah, his those, head guards. His, his like bodyguards. That. Yeah. Which are Red Power Rangers? It's like, it, that. Oh my God! That is the that little bit awesome. of Storm fan Trooper. service. That was cool it's the as thing fuck. Because I wanted, wanted to, see. to see them fight together. I yeah. wanted to see them team up. Yeah, I wanted to yeah. see Kylo become good. So felt like Kylo was. was oh, I didn't want to see. I, I I got exactly what I wanted from that scene where he. I knew he's not turning good. If they I mean, did I that, knew, that would have been different, and that would have been like it a felt different like Star he, Wars it thing. Felt like he was leaving the dark side. Anyways, like for me, it felt like that. Uh, no, I was uh, so happy. It, I mean, I, I, he I, got some character development, which I, I absolutely loved. But I never at any point thought he's going to be done with the dark side. I, I was thinking, no, he's going to be done with Snoke. Mm-hmm. Like me personally, like, I wanted like, that Kylo redemption story. Right, the guy oh, killing no, Han Solo. Him, so I don't, you. you can't redeem the guy. But no, I, no, that's no. what I wanted. I'm like, it'd be awesome if. But. uh no, I, I never ever got the impression he was going to leave the dark side. Like the entire time, with how abusive Snoke had yeah. been, as like a he's a fucking shithead. See, like, no, he's going to kill Snoke. Mosque. If yeah. he had, if he had kind of left the dark side in the way that he goes, no, no, we're going to rule this shit, but we're not going to wipe your friends out. They, I'm not going to go ahead and kill my mom. We'll go ahead and not do that. So it would have been but interesting the, to see that he's he, he's still an over evil overlord. He's just not that fuck off evil, right? I that don't would know, have been man. out of that would have been like out there enough for me to go, huh? How are you going to fight this now? So this yeah. is just a directionless rant. 
yeah. about this movie. I mean, it's unfortunate because I really wanted to fucking see it and gush form about your own how much opinion. I loved it. Yeah, me too, man. I can't believe I feel this way. I know it's a Star Wars flick. It took man. about like, ten minutes thing. after. Okay, we we hit up Wingstop after, and yeah, yeah. we sat down to wait for our food, and that was like ten fifteen minutes after, and it just set in like that was not good. Well, it kept that confusion kept Holy going on shit. and on. And it started. I started to lean on that side. That slow that realization side. of what this movie is. It's it, it's like I, even trying my best to be optimistic. And I, I love The Force Awakens. I left that movie feeling so excited about yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, no, it definitely got Star Wars back into the public eye. Got everybody excited for it again. It was a fan service movie. And even but, being mad that I didn't get the Luke Skywalker fan service, it was still that I'm going to get Luke Skywalker in the next movie. Yeah, that's what they and set I us even up for. Said, when we've talked about this movie, I've said all I need is one badass Luke moment, and I feel like I almost got that. Yeah. Like, but it, it was, you spent so much time with Luke being a fucking downer yeah. and out of character that it didn't It didn't, it didn't matter. It didn't give me – it, it feels like I didn't get my one badass Luke moment. No, because I mean – He wasn't there, man. No, he was. No, not being there isn't what, I, what makes it not badass for me. Just that he was so – down. He was just so blase about the whole situation. Like, your sister's out there. She's trying to fucking fight. Yeah. No, we're losing. Even if you want to be an old fucking curmudgeon and not teach me about the Force, how about you just come fucking pilot an X-Wing or just show your face so we can drum up support like a fucking politician? Would have made more fucking sense. And it would have been totally more in line with Luke. Yeah. I, it, I, well, in line with their idea of Luke's not going to be a hero anymore. I mean, okay, fine. Don't make Luke a hero in, in the same way that you you know you, we would expect him to be, but like you said, have him fucking come back have and just be care. a face. Have, have him, him care. care. It's his sister, man. I mean, come on. He has every reason. And Han is already dead. You've already lost Han. Re- yeah, Re- you're I gonna mean, lose your sister. Of what Chewie. your perspective on things is like the good and the bad, you? like the dark side and and the and the, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Regardless I didn't really, of what your nothing. perspective is on that, like you, it is what it is. Like th- you have this evil empire coming after people that you care about, regardless of how you see the the balance. That's the only reason I feel as though he might act that way. Mm-hmm. But regardless, like that's just ignorant. He You're has depressed. Ev- we get it. He we'll has get every some reason <laughs> to not. You're just on Xanax. To yeah. not White people love be Xanax. stranded on that island after finding out that everything exactly. is going down. There's no exactly. reason why he wouldn't want to go and help. Luke Skywalker would go and help them. Yeah. Whatever. That is absolute <clears throat> bullshit. There's Whoever not many this characters is. that wouldn't at that point. Yeah, like I mean, even even heroes that aren't as much of a hero as Luke Skywalker, most of them would still get off their asses at that point. Oh, I mean, yeah, like I think that's what I mean. Han was the unreluctant yep. was a reluctant hero, and he still fucking he stepped up. He's in it for the benefit of his pocket most of the time. And yeah, he still was willing to. Step and there up. was nothing to benefit his pocket from from what he did in the Force or yeah in yeah. the Force Awakens. So it's like yeah. yeah, if he can fucking step up and do some heroic shit like that. Dude, just the fact that they stepped up in the canon of the original trilogy, that he and um, Lando, Lando was a general in the rebellion. He fucking was a pilot and everything like he ran shit. He stepped up too, and not to make money, but because he was fighting the Empire. God fucking damn it. God. Okay. I wanted to love it, man. And I, yeah, I've. It's the only reason I want to I see it again I had is no I want to see those moments that I liked. And yeah. just the rest of the time, I'm just going to be focused on eating popcorn you know, or It took a while. Doing some I didn't fucking, have negative yeah, yeah. thoughts in my head about the movie. It, I, I was, it took me a while I wanted to process to be what just happened. So I... I all right, all right, the all movie, right. Yeah. The movie just... Yeah, that, that, so ultimately disappointing. disappointing. Ultimately disappointing. Let's go ahead and wind it down for yeah. real this time. Uh, it... it, it <sighs> It's not a Star Wars film. Yeah, that, that's that's all I have to say about it. it it's I don't a movie. Feel like it is either. It's a movie that it has a name, mm-hmm. and that's the only thing that makes it Star Wars. Yeah, it, it's just not a Star Wars. I flip. feel like if you take the Star Wars wrapper off of this movie, and it's just that, a generic sci-fi. It's a bad B movie, movie, dude. Yeah. It, it's, it's a B. I mean, I I would see this honestly, if honestly, there were some improvements to the story, where I think it was almost hindered by the fact it had Star Wars attached to it, right? It could have been better. Honestly, honestly. you know what it feels like? You know what it feels like? Without the Star Wars wrapper, 
It feels oh, like it a feels ma- like a Neil Bloomkamp movie. I was gonna say a made for TV I sci-fi that, movie. I mean, I respect everyone. It almost everyone's feels like opinion. District Fucking Nine. I'm not. That, I mean, you know? I so I mean. I, I don't, don't know. I, don't I actually enjoyed on. District Nine. That's what I'm saying District it almost Nine was could a great movie. I, I I just I respect everyone's opinion. Like yeah. I'm not hating on anybody's opinion that I absolutely love this movie. Oh, I, I just am. don't. <laughs> well, I don't understand. You can have it. I don't have to like it. Yeah. I maybe I'm weird. I don't understand how you can walk out of this movie going. Oh my god, that was so amazing! That was yeah. the best movie ever. Oh my god, Star I, Wars! To me, that I would love be Star Wars, dude. That would be if you really don't care about the Star <laughs> Wars movie, because I I would have enjoyed that as a, its own standalone movie. Yeah, I mean, minus Star Wars. If I had, I no, think it would have been a really good like, space opera. It, I, yeah, I was, gotta agree. Like, if you went in not expecting Star Wars, like you would have thought it was mind blowing. Or if you don't want to see Star Wars, if you absolutely hated Force Awakens. Uh, or any of, of the other movies? Yeah, because you thought it was too much Star Wars, too much of the same old shit. I can see why you went in this movie and were like, oh, wow, that was way different. This was way different from the other movies I in mean, this. I Maybe wanted... Star Wars is coming back. Uh, I don't no. like you. No. I don't like that. I don't like no, you... that that's what you wanted to see. It was I that bad. Star I love Star Wars so much, and I was all in for this for the movie. Like, I could have, I would have been satisfied with very fucking little... But I was left after this movie just being so bummed out, and it, like I feel this way about the movie. I wanted to, when I wanted to fucking love it so bad. Yeah, it was that bad to to give me like I can't I can't feel any other way about it. Unlike Justice League, where I left feeling great, even though the yeah. movie wasn't all that great in structure, uh, I still had fun. I was it's so like playing an ugly video game that's not, you know, yeah, yeah, that yeah. has bugs and isn't graphically as powers, powerful as the other video games. But it's fun, right? Yeah. yeah. I love the shit out of it. Honestly, this movie when it missed comes that to... fun. <laughs> it's not, this movie is two hours later, three minutes long. Yeah. That, that probably gonna, include, it should have been two hours. That, 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 They're going to need to make includes... a three-hour movie because they got some splaining to do. In the it's, like, it's like, okay, uh, you can probably call it off about 12 minutes for credits. So in two hours and 21 minutes worth of movie, you have, at best, two minutes of Star Wars. And the rest of it is just generic storyline where none of this is connected, none of it makes sense, and everything that came before it just doesn't matter. I didn't like it. Yep. That's it, guys. We didn't like it. But (laughs) we really do want you to go see it, form your own opinion. Maybe you'll agree with us, maybe you won't. Hey, that's cool. I, I don't like you if you disagree with me, <laughs> but not because I that's who I am, but because this movie is fundamentally bad. No. It, it is fundamentally flawed in As that a Star way. Wars movie, yeah. But yeah. as a movie, no, I mean, it's it would have worked it's otherwise. It's just a bad it's movie. Not, hey nah, not, I don't think it. it's a bad movie. Fuck it, I hope, I hope, I hope you'll love it, because <laughs> your life probably needs that. Like mine does, but I didn't get it because this movie was fucking bad. <laughs> All right, guys, for Ron. the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. Now nah, I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys, have a good day. Go see the Last Jedi. Tell us what you think. Yep. Fuck yeah.